Okay guys, John Bonillas, County Auction Sales Advisors here. I just want to show you guys very quickly how we save 18 to 20,000 in one year and then how I use that to go purchase a property. This is something I did when I opened uh, my first year in business, first two years in business, I actually did this format um, and I still follow some of these things to this day. Let's break it down real quick. Every month we have expenses that we have to pay. A lot of these are needs, some of these are wants. I'm gonna break down what you can eliminate from, a, from one month to the next and start doing this and one year from now, you can see this formula happen. So first thing I did is we're gonna take, uh, everybody probably has some type of Netflix account or some kind of tr streaming service to watch TV and dumb you out. That's running at 18 bucks a month right now, times 12 months, it's 216. You probably have another one, maybe something like Sling or some type of other subscription service is going to be different for everybody, times 12, that's getting you at $300 a month. Starbucks, right, some type of coffee or something like that, three times a week at $4 a pop, it's $48 a month, $576 for the year. Unplug, what I mean by unplug is literally I would unplug everything in my home from the microwave to the stove. Uh, to the Xbox. I had everything in the room on one main breaker and I would just turn it off and it would turn off everything in the rooms. This will save you on average about 30 to 40 to 50 dollars per month depending on how many things you have plugged in. To have an Xbox or a PlayStation plugged in all day just not working it costs about six to nine dollars a month. This comes from CPS you can run those numbers by them. That'll save you about 360 a year simply by just unplugging. Next we have the gym $35 a month 420 for the year. I am very, very big on my health and fitness, but there are other ways that you can still have free health and fitness. Okay. 420 for the year. Cell phone. I was with the free phone, right? I used a service like Cricket. It was $30 a month. I had the free phone that came with it. So I was only paying $30 a month as opposed to most of you guys are paying $100 a month for the nice new iPhone on another service. That's going to save you about $840 for the year. Eating out at three times a week at $10 a pop. That's 120, it's 1440 for the year. Drinking cigarettes, that's probably one of the biggest ones and worst ones because that messes with your health, messes with your mindset, messes with your ability to get up and get going the next day. Okay, 400, that's 48 for the year, 4,800 for the year. Next, I downsized my vehicle. I went from a truck to a car. My payments, my insurance, and my gas went down $500 a month. That was a big one, I saved $6,000 a year right there. I still ran a general contracting company without a truck, yes. Uh, next one here is uh, vacation. The one week, about $3,000 a year. So many people are like, YOLO, got to live it up once, whatever, whatever. Sacrifice a year. Don't take that vacation. Do something else. That's about 3000 bucks right there on average. Total, that's 17952 It's about 18000 bucks. If you watched my last video, I just purchased a rental property for 17510 that rental is going to bring me $800 a month this next upcoming year. Over the course of the next year, that's going to be a $9,600 return I'm getting by saving that money. Not only that, that house is about a $65,000 market value house. I paid 18 dollars for it. I now have forty-seven dollars in equity there, right? My net worth just went up $47,000 from one year to the next by sacrificing one year. It's different for everyone. You pick your strategy and what you want to do, but if you really want to save money and you really want to invest, it requires sacrifice. Or don't. 